Transmission lines are vital components in electrical systems, carrying power and signals from one point to another. But when it comes to alternating current, they face a challenge known as the skin effect. What exactly is the skin effect and how does it impact transmission lines? Well, let's dive into the fascinating realm of electrical engineering and unravel the mystery behind this phenomenon. The skin effect is a fascinating phenomenon that occurs in AC systems, where the current tends to distribute unevenly over the cross-section of a conductor. This results in the current density being highest near the surface of the conductor, and it decreases exponentially towards the core. Simply put, the inner part of the conductor carries less current than the outer part, resulting in an increase in the effective resistance of the conductor. The implications of this are quite significant. The skin effect reduces the effective cross-sectional area of the conductor available for current flow, which in turn increases the power losses and heating of the conductor. It also impacts the impedance of the transmission line, affecting the voltage and current distribution along the line. The skin effect becomes more pronounced at higher frequencies, larger diameters, and lower conductivities of the conductors. Interestingly, the skin effect does not occur in direct current DC systems because the current flows uniformly throughout the cross-section of the conductor. However, in AC systems, especially those operating at high frequencies such as radio and microwave systems, the skin effect can have a significant impact on the design and analysis of transmission lines and other components. But what exactly causes this intriguing skin effect? It's all about the interaction of the magnetic field generated by the AC current with the conductor itself. When an AC current flows through a cylindrical conductor, it creates a magnetic field around and inside the conductor. This magnetic field changes in direction and magnitude according to the frequency and amplitude of the current. Now, according to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, a changing magnetic field induces an electric field in a conductor. This electric field then induces an opposing current in the conductor, known as an eddy current. These eddy currents are stronger near the core of the conductor where they create a higher opposing electric field and reduce the net current density. Conversely, near the surface of the conductor, the eddy currents are weaker, resulting in a higher net current density. This uneven distribution of current is what we call the skin effect in transmission lines. Well, this uneven distribution of current means that the effective cross-sectional area available for current flow is reduced leading to increased resistance and consequently increased power losses and heating of the conductor. Not ideal, right? But fear not, engineers have devised several clever solutions to combat the skin effect and optimize the performance of transmission lines. First off, we can use conductors with higher conductivity and lower permeability, such as copper or silver. This helps minimize resistance and improve efficiency. Another strategy is to bundle multiple parallel conductors together. By increasing the effective cross-sectional area, we can reduce resistance and mitigate the effects of the skin effect. And then there's Litz wire. This special type of stranded conductor is designed to minimize the skin effect by twisting the strands in such a way that each occupies different positions in the cross-section over its length. Using hollow or tubular conductors instead of solid conductors reduces the weight and cost of the conductor without affecting its performance significantly. The hollow part of the conductor does not carry much current due to the skin effect, so it can be removed without affecting the current flow. Reducing the frequency of the AC current increases the skin depth and reduces the skin effect. However, this may not be feasible for some applications that require high frequency signals. Skin effect in transmission lines occurs when AC current flows, causing uneven distribution of current across the conductor. This increases resistance and impedance, reducing efficiency. Factors like frequency, conductivity, and shape affect it. Skin depth quantifies it. 
Methods to reduce it include using high conductivity conductors, smaller sizes, and lower frequencies. It's crucial in electrical engineering for designing transmission lines and other AC current components. And that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you found this exploration of the skin effect both enlightening and informative. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on all things electrical engineering. Until next time, stay curious and keep innovating.